Solving equations with fractions, part two. Uh, as mentioned in part one, when we're dealing with multiple fractions, we want to remove the denominators by multiplying all the terms in the equation by the lowest common denominator. So, uh, because the lowest common denominator is the smallest number that all the denom denominators will divide into evenly. And that's what we want to do. We want to get rid of them. So let's take a look at these, these just very few uh, examples here and uh, just model the, the process. Uh, well, basically, it's the first step is the key. And that is removing the denominators. So I've got this question here. And I've got how many terms are here? There's actually two terms in this question. There's one term on this side of the equation. I'll put a bracket around it. And there's another term on this side of the equation, the other up on the right-hand side. So uh, what is the common denominator of those two terms. Well, 4 and 6 are the denominators. The smallest number they both go into evenly is 12. 6 goes into 12 twice and 4 goes into 12 three times. So we're going to multiply both sides by the number 12 or 12 over 1 in other words. And multiply this side by it as well and this side by it as well. And uh, when we do that, uh, before we multiply we're going to reduce you know, cancel out top and bottom here. 4, let's just change color here, 4 goes into 4 once and into 12 three times and then we got 3 times 3 here is 9. Put the equal sign. 6 goes into 12 twice and then we've got this thing 2, so we got x minus 1 and it's going to be multiply this thing by 2. Let's just write it out like that so we can see what we're doing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this thing out. Okay, so 9 equals 2x, 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Well, um, for my liking, I like to switch sides here. I, I like the x's on the left-hand side. You don't have to do it this way, but I'm going to switch these two things around. I'm going to bring it up top here again. So I'm going to go uh, 2x minus 2 equals 9. Just switch sides. Okay. Now I want to get x by itself. So let's go ahead and we're going to get rid of the 2 first. Get rid of the plus and minus first. We do the opposite of minus and 2. We plus 2. Get rid of that. And we get 2x equals 11. And then we've got uh, 2 there to get rid of. So let's take care of that. We've got to divide by 2 because 2 is multiplying the x. That gets rid of that. I get x equals, well, 11 over, I'm going to leave it as 11 over 2. Or 5 and a half is the same thing. And, uh, you know, sometimes you don't get whole answers. Oftentimes we get fractions or decimals. So there we go. And that's the first one. Let's do the next example now. And... Um, Again, we've got this thing that has three terms this time. Remember, they're separated by minuses and equal signs and pluses. So I've got this thing. What am I going to multiply everything by? Well, I'm going to just write it, rewrite this question. And I, I want to rewrite it over here. x over 3 minus a little bit of space here. x minus 4 over 2 equals a little space. x plus 3 over 6. Okay. Now, what's the common denominator here? Well, 6 looks like all those numbers will go into 6. So I'm going to put a um, bracket around each of the terms and I multiply by 6. It's a fraction I put 6 over 1 usually to keep straight where it's, it's on the top. And now I can go ahead and uh, see about canceling out any denominators. 3 goes into 6 twice. 2 times x is 2x. And 2 goes into 6 3 times. And so minus 3, there's a minus there. And I've got x minus 4 in the bracket. The 2 is gone. I've canceled out with the 6. Equals 6 goes into 6 1 time. And so I have 1 times this bracket of x plus 3. Well, that's going to be an easy one. So let's multiply those brackets out now. And so I just take them multiply by negative 3 times this. So I, first of all, it's 2x minus 3x 
negative 3 times x, and negative 3 times negative 4 is positive 12. Well, 1 times this is quite easy. It's just x plus 3, and the bracket goes away. And there we go. Okay, so let's join like terms together. We happen to have a couple of like terms here, right here. 2x minus 3x is minus x plus 12 equals x plus 3. Now we want to get all the x's on the same side. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's um, get bring all the x's to the left-hand side. I like to bring them to the left. Minus x, well these cancel out, plus minus x. This gives me minus 2x, negative 1x, minus 1x more is minus 2x, plus 12 equals 3. Now what's the next step? Well, let's get rid of that 12. So minus 12 gets rid of it. I have to do the same thing on both sides though. So you get negative 2x equals negative 9. 3 minus 12 is negative 9. And the last thing I want to do here is divide. Let's just move this a little bit. Divide by negative 2. And I get, it cancels out here. And I get x equals positive 9 over 2, or 4 and a half, if you like to do it that way. OK. Most of that was what we've already learned, but the first step is what they try to remove those denominators. Here's a question that looks a little different. So let's look at this one. Again, I'm going to rewrite the question just because I want to give myself more space. And uh, the key here, one of the keys, is to notice right off the beginning and off the bat that, that we have actually only two terms because these these fractions are multiplying a bracket and that becomes one large term. So you have one big term with things multiplied, this second term things are multiplied together. So you've got two terms. Now we've got to get rid of those denominators. What's the common denominator of 6 and 3? Well 6. Once again we have 6 as the common denominator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this side by 6 and this side by 6. Okay, so what happens here is I multiply it. 6 goes into 6 one time. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. So I'm just going to write that down. We'll multiply the bracket out in a minute. And here, 3 goes into 6 twice. 2 times 2 is 4. And I still got my bracket there. I haven't multiplied it out yet. But now I can multiply it out. So here we go. Multiply this. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Negative 1 times negative 5x is positive 5x. Times a negative times a negative is a positive. Multiply this one out. 4 times 5 is 20x. 4 times 3 is 12. There we go. Okay. Well, let's bring all the numbers, the x's to the same side. So let's see here. Let's take n minus 20x. Bring them all to the left hand side. I like the left hand side. And I get negative 3. That gives me minus 15x equals, well, that's gone. So let's cancel each other out. 12. It's a positive 12, so just put a 12 down. And now, uh, what's next? Okay, well, we've got to get the x by itself. There's a minus 3 there. How do you get rid of that? Well, we do the opposite of minus a 3. We're going to plus 3. And I plus 3 over here. And what do I get? I get minus 15x equals 15. 12 plus 3 is 15. Let's get rid of that negative 13. Last step. Just multiplying the x. I'm going to divide the opposite. If multiplying is dividing. Divide this side. Those cancel out. Negative and 15. I get x equals negative 1. There it is. All done. That's how you take care of equations that have fractions.